Hey church, my name is Pastor Mishak and I'm part of a team here at Audacious. Welcome to day 20 of our 21 days of praying and fasting. Well done for making it this far. Uh, it's been such an amazing thing. Today we want to be praying about God's provision. And I want you to listen to what Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 says. It says this, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I love this scripture primarily when it starts by dealing with an issue that many of us tend to face when it comes to asking God for his provision. And it's this issue of feeling a little bit anxious about asking. And I wonder what would happen in our prayer lives coming before God if we committed to dismantling any sense of anxiety that is associated with asking God for his provision. And I truly believe that as we break through that today in our time of prayer, we can confidently approach God and expect for his uh, provision to come through. I want us to really go for praising him for the things that he has done before, as that will help us just feel a little bit more settled and assured in the fact that when we ask him for, for his new provision, we will truly see it come to pass. Here are the prayer points that I would like us to engage with uh, as we expect for God's provision. Number one, let us pray that we will firmly grasp God's promise to supply our needs, not according to our resources or what we may deem as available, but according to his limitless resources. Philippians 4 verse 19 says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Number two, let us pray that through the Holy Spirit, we will grow in our trust in the timing of God's provision. That's very important. That we develop our trust in the timing of God's provision. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. The promise of God's provision is certain and it's assured, but the timing is not up to us, it is up to him. So as we get stronger and more firm in our belief in God's timing, we truly will receive God's provision. Number three, let us also pray for the courage to step forward into open doors of opportunity towards God's provision. In God's provision, there are times where the provision comes to us, but there will also be times where we need to step forward into the open doors and open opportunities that he presents to us. It could be a new business opportunity. It could be an opportunity for promotion at work. Whatever it is, let's have the courage to step forward into the opportunity that God opens for us. Revelation chapter 3 verse 8 says this, See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. May God bless you as we go through day 20 of our praying and fasting. Amen.